Hi pals, coming up on this week's episode of Go With The Heat. After a tragic accident, Sonny reconnects with his son in the episode Child's Play. On this week in Vice, we'll be taking a look back when this episode of Miami Vice aired. From October 26th to November 1st, 1987, when Miami Vice was king. In news, on October 30th, NEC Home Entertainment released the TurboGraph X16 game console in Japan. It would eventually see a release in North America in 1989, and is the first console in the quote-unquote 16-bit era of consoles, even though the TurboGraph X16 only had an 8-bit CPU. Also known as the PC Engine, this console would see many iterations into the 90s while having an avid fan base in Japan. The TurboGrafx-16 would never get a foothold in North America, competing against the Sega Genesis and the Super NES. In music, move over Lisa Lisa and Cult Jam, the king of pop is taking over the Hot 100. From the album of the same name, the hit song Bad moves into the top spot. This is the second number one from the album and would hold the top spot in 11 countries. The 18-minute short film music video was directed by the legendary Martin Scorsese, was even introduced on CBS as a TV special in August of 1987, and stars a very young Wesley Snipes. In movies, Fatal Attraction is still at the top of the box office and will be there until mid-November. Looking into the archives, we have another stinker with an all-star cast. Directed by Tom Holland of Fright Night and Child's Play fame is the film Fatal Beauty, starring Whoopi Goldberg as Detective Rita Rizzoli and co-starring Sam Elliott as a fellow detective and her love interest. The comedy thriller would underperform at the box office and was eviscerated by critics and even led to a remorseful director confirming the stinkiness of this film. And that's everything you need to know that was happening when Miami Vice was king. Be sure to join us on Go With The Heat at GoWithTheHeat.com. I'd love to hear from you. Email the show GoWithTheHeat at gmail.com or follow us on Twitter at GoWithTheHeat. That's all for this week. Bye, pals.